Okay, we're back again. I am bound and determined to do my hanger swirl one way or the other. So I went on ahead and I've gotten my soap batter to a good medium to light tray. So I've just added my scent. This is a very manly scent. I think it should be called the man scent. It is a mixture of black of uh, amber and black pepper. So it's highly masculine, at least to me it is. Um, it smells good. Um, you can definitely smell some sandalwood in it. So, which, if you like sandalwood, there you go. Um, that's not the only scent. I'm going to be trying to layer this with, um, since it's got pepper in it, I'm going to try to do a salt and pepper swirl. Um, I'm still going to try my best to get the hanger swirl. I'm bound and determined to get that done one way or the other. I've mixed off, i portioned off my stuff in one color with black. And now I'm going to add TD to make this into a white color. Again, my color's uh, pale yellow because I've used rice bran oil. <laughs> In my recipe, I actually have both a mixture of rice bran and olive oil. Um, it makes a really, truly good, both a, a good moisturizing bar. Since we live up north and we tend to have some pretty rough winters, we personally like to have a little bit more protection from our soap, so I go ahead and I try to make my super fatting as much as, well, my conditioning numbers as much as I can. This mixture, I think, gives me a conditioning number of 62, which really and truly is good if you like to have a more moisturizing bar. I'm going to color my black now. <laughs> And I'm actually coloring this with uh, activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is good for the skin. It helps strip out all the impurities. And it's really good for problematic skin. At least that's what I've been told. I'm not making no claims. I might actually be able to do this one. It's actually laying on top like it's supposed to. Hot diggity dog. We might actually be able to do us a hanger swirl. I'm going to tell you why I'm so excited about doing a hanger swirl. So I actually went out to Walmart and I bought a package of wire hangers. Which my kids will tell you I do not have wire hangers in the house. Do I, Kayla? Uh-uh. But, and I sit there and I bend it specifically over the weekend just so I can do some Hanger swirls. Uh, my eyes are starting to burn. Uh, your eyes are burning because you're sick. Ow. But uh, I spent all afternoon trying to get that thing bent the way I wanted it. And I've been so excited to try to use it, but yet I've yet to make a soap thick enough to be able to use it. So I'm using the same recipe that I always use, but this time I sit and I and I uh, mixed it up a little bit more before I came on camera. I think that's what it is that when I'm filming, I think about time constraints, and I know you guys 
Don't want to listen to the mixer going the whole time. So, I don't give myself enough time to get it as thick as I want it. in the resistance. I actually got a hanger. And the way you do your hanger swirls, take it down and up. And you're going to do this several times throughout it. Back and forth and forth and back. And I don't want no major swirls, I want more of a wispy swirl into this. So I didn't add no extra padding to my wire. Okay, there we go on that one. Now I'm just gonna decorate the top some. We've lost our shish kebab. There we go. Now I don't make fancy built up tops. My mother-in-law at one point in time said that she didn't like them. So I don't really and truly do those no more. I just do the swirlies on top and make designs this way. Which I think that's going to be it for this one tonight. So, thanks for watching again. This is the manly scent. Uh, and it's a mixture of amber and black pepper. Awesome, awesome to work with. You can get this, this scent from Jennifer Fogliano's website, uh, NewYorkSoapMakingSupplies.com. If you want to see the cut pictures, please come and visit my Facebook page. Facebook.com forward slash backwoods soap or type in Hillbilly Soap Suds, S U D Z. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.